Welcome to today's video on a topic that often goes unnoticed in our daily interactions, but can have serious consequences for our mental health. 10 Signs of a Manipulative Person Have you ever found yourself questioning someone's intentions, wondering if their actions are genuine, or if there's something more sinister going on? Manipulation can be subtle, insidious, and difficult to detect, so we must understand the warning signs and protect ourselves from potential harm. As we look at these 10 signs, Remember that your knowledge is power, and recognizing these patterns early can help you maintain healthy relationships. Welcome back to Wellness Lenses, where every conversation is a deep dive into mental wellness. If you're new here, a special warm welcome to you as well. We know you're going to like it here. If today's topic is something that appeals to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content on mental health and psychology. We're now also on Substack, so check the link in the description box below. Our first sign is mastery of deception. Manipulative people may say things like, Oh, I totally agree with you. Your opinion is so important to me. While secretly plotting another course of action. They are often adept at presenting a facade that conceals their true intentions. They may appear charming, friendly, and sympathetic, but there is a calculated agenda underneath. It's like unwrapping a beautifully wrapped gift and discovering a nasty surprise inside. Now, let's talk about emotional blackmail, the second sign. To instill guilt and control your actions, a manipulator may use phrases like, I thought you cared about me. They are skilled at using guilt, fear, or obligation to control others. They may use strategies such as silent treatment or emotional outbursts to make you feel responsible for their happiness or well-being. It's an emotional roller coaster that can leave you feeling trapped and uncertain about your own emotions. The third sign is gaslighting, which is where manipulative people might say, you're overreacting, that never happened, causing you to question your own memories and perceptions. Gaslighting entails distorting or denying the truth, causing the victim to question their own sanity. It is a subtle deterioration of your confidence and self-esteem. Moving on to our fourth sign, constant criticism. Manipulators may disguise their criticism as, I'm just trying to help you improve, while nitpicking, belittling, and undermining your self-worth. They frequently disguise their criticism as constructive feedback in order to make things better for you. It's a toxic cycle that can slowly erode your confidence. The fifth sign uses isolation techniques. A manipulator may say things like, your friends don't really understand you like I do, or Family just complicates things, intentionally isolating you from your support network. They may deliberately make you more dependent on them. This control tactic restricts your support network, making it easier for them to manipulate and influence your thoughts and actions. Now let's talk about the sixth sign, playing the victim. Manipulators are adept at using phrases like, nobody appreciates me, I'm always the one who suffers, to deflect blame and elicit empathy. They manipulate situations so that you feel guilty or responsible for their perceived suffering. It creates a situation in which you become the caretaker in the relationship. The seventh sign is conditional love. Manipulative people may use phrases like, if you really loved me, you'd do this for me, giving the impression that their affection is contingent on meeting their demands or expectations. This creates an environment of anxiety and insecurity and you may feel compelled to constantly prove your value. Unpredictable mood swings are the subject of our eighth sign. A manipulator can switch from charm to rage in an instant, keeping you on edge with phrases like, I can't believe you would do this to me, making it difficult to anticipate their reactions. This unpredictability keeps you on edge and leaves you in a constant state of anxiety. Moving on to sign number nine, lack of empathy. Manipulative people may appear indifferent, saying things like, stop being so sensitive, it's not that big of a deal, or dismissing your emotions to exploit your vulnerabilities. They capitalize on your weakness, demonstrating a shocking lack of compassion. Finally, the tenth sign is boundary violations. Manipulators may push boundaries, saying things like, I thought we were closer than that, or employ subtle tactics to make you feel uncomfortable or obligated to comply with their wishes. Manipulators frequently disregard your personal space and autonomy. 
they may use subtle tactics to assert control over your life. To summarize, understanding these 10 signs of a manipulative person is critical for maintaining healthy relationships and protecting your well-being. It's critical to seek support and set healthy boundaries if any of these manipulative tactics resonate with you. Remember that you deserve relationships based on trust, respect, and genuine connection. Before we wrap up, please share your thoughts or experiences in the comment section below. Have you ever encountered manipulative people in your life? And how did you handle those situations? Sharing your story may assist others who are experiencing similar difficulties. Knowledge is a powerful tool, and by raising awareness, we help to build a community that values genuine relationships and emotional well-being. Thank you for joining me today. If you found valuable information in this video, please give it a like, share it with your loved ones, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you've made it this far, a special thank you to you. In case you missed it, we're now on Substack. You can get free summaries of each video if you subscribe, and if you want full details of each video's topic, with references and helpful resources, we offer a paid subscription for a small fee. Just click the link below. See you in the next video.